Hi everybody! Hello everybody! I hope everybody's well. I'm really well. So today I have a little chat about Africa for you, about uh, one of the continents. I got loads of things from Africa to show you. But first, do you know what day is it today? Let's sing the days of the week song. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Today is Friday. Today is Friday. Yoo-hoo! Today is Friday. Yoo-hoo! Now, Friday. What's the weather like for you guys? For me, it's pretty windy today. So, let's go to our map. Right. Can you see the map? You can. So, let's. Uh, sing our continent song and then let's talk about one of the uh, one of the continents Africa the green one okay a little bit just a tiny bit okay so what's our continent what's the name of our continent do you remember guys what's the color the name is Europe and the color is red right and we are just right here on this tiny island okay so let's sing uh, the song Continents, continents, do you know your continents? Let's sing them together. One, two, three. Asia, Africa, North and South America, Australia, Antarctica, and Europe too. So today I'm going to talk about this green continent full of great animals and other things. Okay, so first of all, I want to show you a few things. I have this beautiful dolly right she is beautiful isn't she she's supposed to be an angel she's made of beads handmade beads and <clears throat> she's from south uh, africa which is down here down here in africa so that's this dolly right then i have this guy who's masai mara right look he's got earrings it's a little statue okay then I got some beautiful, really beautiful Kenyan African jewelry, okay? So, these really cool earrings, okay? I'm going to keep them on for the rest of the video. Look at them. Wow, look at the, e uh, the earrings. Then, I have this really, really beautiful necklace from Kenya. This is where the safari is, right? In Kenya. So look at that wow and it's not even heavy guys it's a really really nice so when i come back to crash i'll bring my jewelry so that we can all try and look at this i got this beautiful bracelet right then i got some african animals for us so i got these two elephants the crocodile and a rhino a rhino so first of all guys i want to read a little bit about uh, africa just a little bit for uh, how people live there and things like that and then we're gonna read about african animals just a few of them right so look at that this is in morocco that's in, up in the north of africa okay so that's up there Okay, and there's a lot of, a lot of, a uh, lot of things in Africa. So just quickly, okay. Many North African countries, such as Morocco, Algeria, border the Great Sahara Desert. Do you guys know what's desert? That's like a big sand pit where nothing grows. It's too hot and it's really hard to walk through. You have to wear a special protection. And there's an animal who can walk through the through the desert yeah that's a camel and why can they walk through the desert because they are able to keep water in their humps so that's why they are able to walk uh, the traditional drink in morocco is mint tea mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, served with loads of sugar um, and a sprig of mint mm, nice and uh, I actually tasted it and it's very good. I tasted it too and it's very good too. I liked it. Well, okay. <laughs> okay, 
so Sahara deserts okay so there's not really many uh, many forests up in the north but when it rains when it rains everything goes really really nice okay and let's see about some tribes okay in the center of Africa in the over here in the center of Africa there's safari and you probably heard a lot about all these animals there are many countries in central and southern Africa with different kinds of land and climate some like Congo contain thick rainforests where children travel by canoe Ooh, that would be cool no? to go to school instead of by bus by a canoe <laughs> um, along the rivers others such Zimbabwe and Tanzania have open grasslands where children help their parents to herd cattle. Other children live in big cities, such as Pretoria in South Africa. Yeah, that's down here. Okay. On the island of Madagascar, we know the Madagascar movie, there's a lot of animals, isn't it? A man must make a speech before he's married. If the speech is no good, he pays a fine and starts again. So when they get married um, in Madagascar, they have to make a speech without any mistake, right? Let's have a look at this liana walk. Some children living in Central Africa never see a road or, uh, or a rail railroad. Can you see it? Yeah. Thick forests and roaring rivers cut off their farms from cities and towns. Boys and girls must cross shaky bridges <laughs> like this. Yeah. Made of lianas, that's the leaves from uh, the trees. Uh, to visit people in other villages. Ooh, interesting. And look at these costumes, guys. I think this is the chief of the... No, this is the chief of the tribe. One of these is the chief of, of the tribe. And they're doing this special dance. Okay. So, we got this. And then I wanted to read a little bit about elephants because elephants are lovely. I love them. Do you guys like them? Right, so we're going to put... Uh, I gave him a name. I called him Erno. So I hope uh, everybody will like him. Well, Erno, look, you're in the way. Like this. Okay. So we have a famous elephant. Try to think of his uh, name. Okay. There are two kinds of elephants. African elephants. These guys with very, very big ears. Yes. And Asian elephants with smaller ears. Okay. So we have the African and the Asian. Oh, look at this baby. Ooh. An elephant uses its trunk for breeding, smelling, and picking food, like grass, roots, leaves. And then they use them to put them in their mouth. And to clean themselves, elephants suck water into their trunks and then hose themselves down. So it's like a shower, basically. And you know why the elephant skin is so wrinkly? Look at this one. His skin is so wrinkly. Why is it wrinkly? Um, is wrinkly? Elephants' wrinkly skin is very sensitive. Elephants usually uh, roll around in mud. Ooh, that would be cool now. <laughs> and throw dirt on their backs to keep their skin cool and protected it from sunburn and insect bites. Oh, okay. That's a good protection. So I'm going to say goodbye for today, guys, and see you soon. Have a look at my beautiful African necklace. Bye, guys.